girl do you know that i've been applying hot oil treatments to dirty hair all my life no sweetheart hot oil treatments are applied to freshly washed hair oh really Hey my lovelies and welcome back to my channel where we break down the fundamentals of hair care. So today's video we're going to be talking all about hot oil treatments and why it is that they're pretty much non-existent in a lot of people's hair care regimen. Now I posted a poll on Instagram and I wanted to know if a lot of you incorporate hot oil treatments into your regimen and the overwhelming response was no a lot of persons actually don't utilize hot oil treatments and it led me to to wonder why why is it that persons are not talking about hot oil treatments or why it is that they're not incorporating them into their hair regimen so today's video i'll be taking you on the process of how i mix my hot oils and how i apply my hot oils and just in general tell you if it's worth it does my hair feel dramatically different do i want to incorporate this into my regular regimen i'll give you the scoop i'll let you know what's up but before we get there let me just tell you a little bit about why hot oil treatments are said to be essential for your hair so hot oil treatments tend to be very nourishing nourishing to your scalp especially if you suffer from dryness of the scalp so dandruff and a lot of flakes but also it's nourishing to your hair so if your hair is dry and brittle hot oil treatments are said to assist you with providing a little bit of moisture. Also, I know a lot of us relaxed girls, especially when we are air drying, frizz tends to be a major issue. Hot oil treatments are said to combat this frizz. Now, when you perform your hot oil treatments, it's important that you select oils that are going to combat the problems that you are experiencing. So for me, I decided that I wanted to use three particular oils, olive oil, almond oil, and castor oil and these are my favorite oils for hot oil treatments because they are generally very moisturizing and they add a soft finish to your hair so right now I'm mixing my oils and the first oil that I add is my olive oil and olive oil tends to add more manageability to your hair and also adds a little bit more shine it is also good for if you have fungal issues I don't suffer from fungal issues with my scalp but it's really a good oil to help to combat fungal issues if you do suffer from that sweet almond oil is actually rich in vitamin B7 and vitamin B7 is popularly known as biotin a lot of relaxed girls take biotin supplements because biotin is said to promote healthy strong hair it is also an emollient and an emollient is an ingredient that is typically found in moisturizers so it does add a little bit of softness to your hair as well and it is high in protein so it also strengthens and repairs your hair as well if you're on your relaxed hair journey you may have come across castor oil at some point castor oil is said to have thickening properties a lot of ladies a lot of persons in general utilize castor oil on their scalp to help promote and stimulate hair growth but also to promote thickness it is also really good for persons with dry scalp or dandruff because of its lubricating properties most persons sometimes would prefer to not utilize castor oil as a sealant when they moisturize and seal because it is so thick it can have the tendency to weigh your hair down and have your hair feeling extremely oily but it lubricates your hair so well that it seals in that moisture and helps to minimize breakage
Okay guys, I'm back. My hair is about 80 to 85% air dried and I'm coming back to you with the results. I'm coming back to let you know if a hot oil treatment is really, really necessary. And I have to say, it's, it's, it's not needed. If it's not in your hair regimen, I'm not sure it's going to transform your hair, especially from one application. So does my hair feel different or dramatically different? No, it doesn't feel dramatically different. But does it feel different? Yes, it does. My hair feels a little bit more moisturized. My new growth feels a little softer. My hair just feels soft to touch. And that's for me just added leave-in. I haven't moisturized and sealed as yet. Do I think that I'll be doing this every week? No. My hair doesn't need a hot oil treatment every week, but it wouldn't help to incorporate it into my regimen at least once every three to four weeks. My hair feels good. I'm not gonna lie. It feels really good. But I, as I'm saying, I'm not noticing a dramatic difference. I'm not noticing a wow effect, but it does feel good. So let me just turn around so you can see the results of my hair. So the question we want to ask is, are hot oil treatments necessary? And they're really not. <laughs> you can really get away with not applying hot oil treatments to your hair on a regular and your hair can still thrive. It's pretty much like an added boost if you want an extra layer of moisture or if you notice that there's something weird going on with your scalp, you can incorporate that into your regimen. Now will I be using more hot oil treatments in my hair going forward? Uh, maybe, maybe not. My hair has been doing okay without the addition of hot oil treatments on a regular, so I may just continue. But as I said, if there is a major problem that you have with your hair, so if your hair is typically very hard, it's typically very dry, your scalp as well is dry, I would encourage you at least once every two months, incorporate a hot oil treatment into your regimen and gradually you'll start to see some results. But it is important that when you apply the hot oil treatment after, please wash it out. Do not rinse it out. You have to wash it out. And I would say just do one wash pass with this because you still don't want to strip your hair of all the oils that you've added, but you have to wash it out because products that are coming after need to be able to seep into your hair. And because oils are sealant, they sit on top of your hair and prevent moisture from going in. So pretty much after you finish applying your oil treatment, you then want to follow up with a deep conditioning treatment and you have to make sure that the oil barrier has been removed from your hair. Bear in mind that the products that you utilize when you are giving yourself the hot oil treatment, so your shampoo, your conditioner, your deep conditioner, your leave-in, all of those play a part in helping the oils to really penetrate your hair. So it's important that you pay attention to the products that you utilize alongside giving yourself a hot oil treatment. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope it was informative for you. And I hope that going forward, maybe you'll incorporate a hot oil treatment, maybe not. But either way, I hope this video was really helpful for you to determine whether or not you do need hot oil treatments. So. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Also follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram handle below. And I'll see you next week Sunday for another video. Bye.